Man, this is a blessing. Um, you know, for me being born and raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana, understanding, um, you know, the great people that has, um, you know, just been fantastic to this city and um, to our culture. Right? And, and for me to be a part of it is a wonderful thing. The, the list is certainly long. It's governors, it's men that have walked on the moon. Uh, kind of what's it like kind of being in a fraternity that's that kind of exclusive? Mm. Man, you know, we, we all have a purpose um, to, to, to Indiana um, and to this world. And, and, and that's the beautiful thing. It's just about uh, giving back. It's about being a servant. And, and, and for me, everything I've accomplished in my life thus far, um, my birthday's today, so I'm 24 years old, and um, there's, it's just the beginning. So I'm, uh, I love being that beacon. Uh, obviously, birthday's today, 24 years old. Uh, kind of what do you want to accomplish by the time you turn 25? So much. Um, you know, I've, I've got a five-year uh, goal, a 10-year goal. I've got a 90-day goal. Um, I'm very goal-oriented. Uh, I focus on metrics and accomplishing the mission. So um, there's, there's going to be some, some, some great things coming ahead. Uh, obviously, the red coat, it may not be redskin red, but we're going to talk about the NFC East. There's a guy in the NFC East that you mow pretty well. What's going to be like preparing for your brother knowing he's not on your same team? Uh, it's going to be so exciting um, and challenging. You know, he's a great player. Uh, but I've looked to, I looked up to my brother my entire life, and now I get a chance to really hit him again. You know, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. We usually talk about matchups with players as like quarterback versus quarterback, but they never see the field. Um, is it different when you're on the field at the same time when you get to tackle your brother? Absolutely. You know, uh, I started as a freshman at Bishop Lewis High School his senior year at Paul Harding uh, when they were still open. So we got a chance to play each other then. So we had family come in town, uh, flying in town, driving in town from Detroit and Alabama. Uh, and it was just, it was so electrifying. Um, I remember my parents sitting like the first half on my side, then the second half on, you know, on, on Paul Harding's side. So it was just like uh, some mixed feelings, you know, but it's a great environment. It's a blessing for us to be able to live out our dreams, you know, playing in the National Football League. So it's wonderful. Uh, obviously, you're kind of coming up on maybe a contract year. Uh, so what's it like for you focusing on the football and, and knowing that kind of is out there? For me, um, you know, I'm a visionary. I'm a guy who understands uh, perspective. Um, and I know my worth. I'm, I'm being able to um, play at an elite level. But I'm blessed to, to be a Dallas Cowboy, to be able to play the game that I love. Uh, compensations will come. Um, so looking forward to it. Does it help having a guy like Zeke, a guy like Dak, that are kind of in contract negotiations as well, obviously on different side of the ball? Uh, obviously the Cowboys want to focus on the defensive side of the ball, and you're a main part of it. Does it help to having maybe a balance for this Cowboys organization? Yeah, I mean, it's a business. It's a business. So, uh, you know, when you're, and when you're off the field and you take your emotions out, uh, you got to put the business hat on. And then from there you negotiate. And then the way the market's set, um, things will be all right. So for me, it's just about patience, and my clear eye view takes care of everything. Uh, my last question is obviously got to be about your birthday. Uh, are you a big birthday guy? Or are you a big birthday cake guy? Kind of. I mean, are you a big birthday guy? Really don't like chocolate. I like white chocolate. Okay. So I'm looking forward to um, see if my mom made me some red velvet cake or something like that. Just flew into town from Dallas, so uh, I'm excited to be home. Uh, it's going to be a great event tonight, and I'm looking forward to getting some golf in tomorrow. Uh, is it a cheap meal? Is it a small piece of cake? Are you like OTA's big piece of cake? I'm like a small meal, uh, nice delicate shaped cake, ice cream cake. Um, you know, very, very, very intellectual, okay. intimate. <laughs> camps coming up here this summer as mm -hmm. well. Just what's it mean for you to be able to come back and just have this opportunity here over the next month? I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Um, any opportunity I get to come home, um, you know, I'm, I'm a Hoosier, so I'll, I'll always be here. Uh, and just blessed to have the opportunity. Uh, my brother and I will be hosting our 
uh, you know, our camp again this year. Uh, we'll do it every year. So it's, it's looking forward. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to just the opportunity to be able to get in, get in front of the kids and have a great time. I believe that's a player association back camp now, isn't it? Uh, what's that mean for, for the association to back you guys too? I mean, it means everything, uh, you know, when you have guys uh, on your back and behind you and understanding our purpose and the criteria that we've set. Um, always, my brother and I always wanting to, uh, to have a camp for the youth and be able to instill um, you know, positive things in into these children to, to be able to earn your stripes. You know, it's about how what work you put in to, to accomplish the goal you're, you're, you you set out for. So it's a great feeling. Jalen, the minority entrepreneur gets a new one. Why is that so important for you to start? Man, having um, you know, for me, my purpose beyond athletics is um, entrepreneurship. Um, personally, you know, being a business owner and. Um, investor and, and alternative investments and things like that nature. Um, you know, I've always, uh, I've gathered the, the access that I've been able to, um, to gain just through networking um, and meeting the right people. Um, the, the biggest thing is access to quality deal flow and quality people. So for me, I wanted to be able to, you know, have this feeling and be able to share this with people that look like me. You know, the minorities, the black, brown, Latino. Um, it's, it's about a closing the economic and educational gap. So that's why I started the Jalen Smith, um, you know, Minority Entrepreneurship Institute. Um, and we're, we'll be focusing this year on Indiana. And um, we'll have a showcase July 12th. So looking forward to it for sure. Recently got that degree. Um, why was that so important for you to come back and do it? Because it's, it's all about, you know, whatever you start, you want to finish. You know, I made a pact to my mother uh, when I entered the draft early and, and left after my junior year at Notre Dame that I would finish. Um, and, and it's something that I, it was lingering on. I finished my third year in the league and uh, I told myself I was going to go back and finish. So uh, I was able to accomplish that and hand my mother the degree. She's here tonight, so it's, it's going to be wonderful. Just about a month now until training camp, too. What's, uh, what's your focus and what's what's on the agenda for you over the next month mm -hmm. as you get ready for, you know, for your next year? Mm -hmm. Focus is, you know, we've had a great OTA and mini camp, um, you know, back in shape and um, eager to get started on the season. So for me, it's just about working on the linear speed and, um, you know, spending time with my family and clearing my head, getting ready for the grind. How do you feel like you've grown from last year to the, to the start of this year? Mm -hmm. I've grown so much, just uh, intellectually, my football IQ of just, the game has slowed down a lot, um, along with being healthy again, so it's wonderful. Yep. Uh, today's question, so how's your faith shift, sh kind of shaped your community service? So much, you know, um, you know, I've grew up, I grew up my entire life being a believer, um, in the higher most. Um, not religious, you know, from a Catholic, Baptist, Muslim standpoint, but just a believer in, in that guy, whatever his name is, you know. So um, it's, it's shaped me so much because I believe in him and I love him and I worship, um, you know, that guy. So it's, it's an amazing feeling, um, you know, being able to grow up in a, in a great household, um, you know, with both of my parents in my life. I'm blessed to attend, um, you know, Bishop Lewis High School and, and learn so many great values. And then Notre Dame, um, which is very, you know, who, who's also an institute that's very faith-based. Um, it matters. So um, I'm blessed, for sure.